Hey everybody, welcome to another piano review. I'm Stu Harrison, we're here at Miriam Pianos and we're in our Oakville showroom today, just outside of Toronto, Canada, and we're looking at Kawai's ND21. This is a 48 inch upright model that is uh, not necessarily going to be available in all markets. Uh, it's kind of a special release that Kawhi has been doing for a few years, one that we were literally begging them for, and for good reason. This has become perhaps the best alternative that I am aware of on the market to a five, six thousand dollar buy if you're looking at a 48 inch used Japanese piano. We all know uh, that if you're a parent and you are just getting into lessons, you've probably had a teacher or a friend along the way say, go find a used Yamaha U1 or go find a used 48 inch Kawai of all of the different model names that they have. Uh, and of course, it feels like if your budget is kind of floating in and around that $5,000 price point, plus or minus $1,000 or so, there isn't a lot else out there. If you wanna keep it at a 48 inch uh, level, um, and you're not feeling like you want to kind of go with a lesser known name or get something made from uh, China if that's you know giving you any concern at all. So uh, we have the same issue in Toronto. We have lots and lots of parents that come to us and of course we do uh, buy and sell a lot of used Japanese product but uh, we always felt that it would be great to be offer, uh, be able to offer rather a credible alternative to that um, either to a used Kawai or a used Yamaha. And so, uh, the ND21 was something that Kawai um, approached the Canadian market with. I know it's available in a few different markets, um, but certainly right here at home, uh, this is proving to be uh, just an absolute home run uh, with the market. Because here we have a 48 inch piano, meets all the criteria for most teachers looking for something of that size, uh, just so that the, the dynamic range is there and the tonal palette is there. Uh, it is made by Kawai. Uh, and it is uh, made uh, at their Indonesian facility, which is the same one that makes the GL10, same one that um, you know uh, finishes the assembly for their K200, also makes some of the Boston pianos uh, for Steinway. Uh, so a fantastic factory with a fantastic reputation, putting out great products already. Um, and it is just in the price range that you're looking for. Uh, and so we're gonna dive in, take a look at this instrument today. Uh, we're gonna do some playing on it so you can hear it, but I'm gonna give you kind of the major bullet points of why I think this is uh, definitely something you should be looking at. If you're a parent, you've been given the mandate to go find yourself a 48 inch piano, and you wanna really make sure that the budget doesn't get uh, away from you because perhaps this is the very first instrument coming into your house. Uh, you've come to the right place. We're gonna give you all that info. Thank you so much for being here once again. We're gonna get started right away. So where did the ND21 come from? Well, we're not the only dealers struggling to come up with a great option for uh, the Yamaha used U1 paradigm that so many parents find themselves in. Uh, I'm sure that's true because otherwise uh, this must have taken a chorus of dealers and a chorus of a lot of other people asking Kawhi for this. Where did they come up with the ND21? Well, uh, as far as I can tell and having talked to a few people within the company, um, this appears to be essentially a reissue of the K25. Now the K25 was a very popular model uh, that Kawhi was making back in the 90s. It was uh, sort of the, one of the predecessors to the Kawhi K3, which was the very first piano to be equipped with the Millennium 3 action. Um, and so essentially what you've got is Kawhi really just restarting production of their K25 line. Um, they don't have to invest in new gear, they don't have to uh, invest in uh, new stamps, new uh, jigs, 
uh, new uh, scale designs. It's using um, their uh, first generation ABS Action, which had 30 years of uh, you know, in the field experience uh, to perfect and make sure it's not gonna uh, give you anything but a fantastic experience. And so poof, here we are with what appears to be essentially a brand new model, but really uh, it's like if you just opened a time capsule and you were able to find a brand new 1990s era Kawhi piano with a full 10 year warranty and what quite a few people have really appreciated is an alternative to the traditional uh, brass color. We've got chrome uh, both in the uh, hinges, the logo and also uh, the pedal boards. Um, so besides that, you've got an instrument that really uh, looks and behaves very much like a mint condition perfect uh, 90s used 48 inch Japanese piano. Um, So what are the things I notice on this? Well, one of the uh, things I notice is that there's a ton of sympathetic resonance that you get out of this instrument. That's typical of a lot of the Kawais, and I think it's one of the trademark things that separates a Kawai sound from a Yamaha sound. Besides the fact that for the same size cabinet, Kawais uh, tend to have a slightly longer bass string, I also find that the Kawai cabinets just tend to resonate a little bit more, and so you get a bit more warmth, and you get a slightly bigger acoustic envelope around the whole instrument, and you definitely Another thing I really like about having an ND21 on the floor next to our K-Series, because I, we get the question all the time, well, this is great, you're saying wonderful things about this piano, why would we spend any more and get the K300, which is also a 48-inch piano? Well, when you've got them side by side and you can play them, uh, you actually do notice that there is extra value that you do get for your money if you go with the K300. Um, can you feel the difference between this action and the Millennium 3 action? Yes, uh, for a really advanced player who's looking for an action that's gonna be as responsive as a grand, is this gonna give it to you? No, I'd, I'd give that probably like a seven out of 10 uh, in terms of delivering something that's gonna have um, as responsive an action, whereas I would give the K300 probably more like a nine out of 10. K300, you're getting longer keys than you get on the ND21. You're getting a different action design, which does produce a, a faster repetition speed and a little bit more accuracy when you're playing really, really softly. Uh, so this action is ideal for somebody who is just starting out. It's an ideal uh, for, say, an institutional or teaching situation where you're having to, uh, you want to get a piano with lots of good bass, you, you, you want it to be well built, you know, low maintenance, um, but the majority of the people who are going to be playing it, let's say, haven't been at this for 10 years already. Um, this is just perfect. Uh, churches uh, have been loving this model. We've had a lot of younger teaching studios uh, that have been using this model. We've used this model. Model, uh, in several classrooms in our own school and of course parents who are just starting out and want an acoustic versus a digital for the first instrument in the house I mean this is literally a perfect solution so that's where your action is you've got plenty of uh, great things about it um, when you're comparing to a used instrument it's definitely going to be a more consistent feel uh, it's going to require less maintenance and it is going to have a better repetition speed and response than say a 20 or 30 year old used uh, Japanese piano which which quite frankly, this is exactly what it's being compared to all day, all night, every single week of the year. Uh, second thing, uh, K300 comes with double felted hammers. This has got single felted hammers. So does that make a difference for, uh, let's say, the bulk of your playing? No. Where is this going to make a difference? Well, again, your advanced players who really are going to be starting to push the upper range of their dynamic capability as players, so, you know, pushing into the fortissimo or even the triple fortissimo range and you're starting to develop 
uh, the ability to control those tones and those overtones. Well, a single felted hammer isn't really going to give you that. It's not supposed to. It's never going to. So if you push this piano hard, it is going to start to distort a little bit. You'll hear it. Uh, but again, who's this going to affect primarily? Well, your advanced players uh, who really have developed um, that touch and that palette and that ear. It usually takes anywhere from five to ten years to develop. Um, but again, are you going to get that out of a 20 to 30 year old used piano that this is being compared to? Not even a chance. You're often dealing with highly compressed hammers uh, that are past their prime. They're still functional, but they're going to distort even quicker than this is. Another thing uh, that's really great to get on a piano of this price, brand new, solid spruce soundboard. Uh, super unusual, and this is exactly what Kawhi is putting on here, solid spruce Sitka soundboard. And so you get really beautiful resonance, but the sustain is fantastic too. I mean, tons of crown. I know we're talking about a new instrument, but uh, again, when you get this type of performance for an instrument that, like I said, this is hitting right around the 5,000 US mark. Uh That's great. Uh, now another thing that's going to be, a f a, I would say more of a feature for uh, semi-professional or commercial buyers or users of this instrument, it's got nice big rubber coasters on it. This piano is easier to move than the majority of our $20,000 uprights here that are supposed to have Primo casters. Uh, we can move this with one hand all around, carpeted floor, hardwood floor, no issues. It's So for users where that's even a factor, uh, it's a really nice thing. It is very easy to move around in ND21 and it's easy to get it on and off a coaster as well. So something to keep in mind. It's not going to be a, a value point for everybody, but it might, um, you know, it might be something of interest for some of you. Another uh, thing to be aware of, the ND21 is not going to give you that slow fall. Uh, so depends on your parenting philosophy. You're going to have some people say, well, uh, I don't want my kids anywhere around this because they might slam their hands. Other people might say, well, it'll only happen once and then they'll learn their lesson and likely won't slam ever again. So not sure where you fall in that spectrum, but it is something to be aware of. This one doesn't have the slow fall and that may be a factor as well. Um, one last thing I am going to mention, because I think it's kind of cool. The inside of this instrument, they've really gone for uh, quite a unique contemporary look. So just on the outside, as we said, they, they, they're not using the brass coloring. They've actually decided to color um, the iron plate uh, this really interesting matte black uh, finish. It's almost like kind of a gunmetal-y um, engine block uh, type of thing to match the overall uh, sleek black and chrome look of the outside of the instrument. There is no difference in material whatsoever. It's not like this is a, a different type of plate or some sort of a synthetic. Same iron plate just like uh, Kawhi is going to be using on any of the others. Of course, it's nice, easy to access, and you can see uh, that it's got that, um, that felt uh, for a mute bar. That also makes it really, really easy. So to wrap up, here we've got, like I've been saying throughout this review, in my mind, quite possibly the most ideal uh, and uh, straightforward alternative to a used Japanese 48-inch piano uh, that you are going to find certainly in the Canadian market. Uh, this has found a really wide audience with first-time buyers and parents who aren't looking for digital and really are looking for a safe, low-risk option that doesn't involve hunting through Kijiji, uh, through dozens and dozens of Yamaha U1 listings in the four to $5,000 range, and really never knowing what the ownership history of that instrument has been. Uh, this has proved to be just a uh, kind of a magic bullet solution uh, for many, many of those people. So 
Um, whether or not it works for you, ultimately up to you. You really do need to decide. Every once in a while you do find that used instrument that just is an absolute gem, great price, great music, and we find them too. So uh, I'm not suggesting that that not be a part of your search, but what I am suggesting is it doesn't need to be the only part of your search. Make sure you put this on the list, check it out, and of course if you're in the Toronto area, come by see us. We've got an ND21 on both of our floors in Oakville and Vaughan at all times, um, ready and waiting to be played. So I hope this has been helpful. Good luck with your search. Uh, come see us if you can, and we'll see you back next time for another piano review soon. Thanks very much. Mm -hmm.